Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Mike Rich. What's happening with y'all, man? What it is. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Nighttime mall vlog action. I'm about to run out of time. I only got like an hour and a half for the mall clothes. I was going up here to get my daughter some shoes because her feet is growing fast as hell. And she only supposed to wear a black shoe to school. And them black shoes all too low. So I got to go ahead and get at least a couple of pair of black sneakers for her. But while I did it, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and give Rich Nation a vlog because I think a shoe dropped today. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. You feel me? Anyway, today, the drip. You feel me? The the 23 guy. You feel me? Um, only fan shirt. And I got this whitewashed denim jacket on. You feel me? What shoes y'all think I got on? I guarantee you ain't going to get it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Oh, this wind. It's raining today, so This wind is stupid out here. And check out the on feet and get the mall vlog going though, shall we? We don't have much time. By the way, the on feet is the Air Jordan 5. Uh, I forgot what they call their color. But it's the off-white Air Jordan 5. You feel me? What they call muslin? What was this color called? Something like that. Anyway. Let's head to the mall. I got a good spot in front, bro, because like nobody's here. It's late. They finna close. Hey, you talking about? Bro, this um this denim jacket ain't enough, but it this hawk is hawking out here. Hey, you talking about? New drinking game. Take a shot every time I say hey, you talking about? Only adults though. Only adults. Drink responsibly. Hey, you talking about? <laughs> so yeah, man, I should have did a hoodie, a hoodie up under this jacket because outside ain't no joke. They said the temperature gonna drop after that rain hit. That cold front was gonna come through. Oh, bruh. These shoes, I don't know if they were limited, but like barely any stores in here got them. JD Sports didn't get them. Champs didn't get them. Foot Locker said they was getting them, but when I went over there, they didn't have any. And I'm at DTLR now, and they got them. The Air Jordan 5 Lucky Green dropped today, and apparently they weren't widely available. I know um, Wish posted them. And I wasn't finna go to Wish. Y'all know how I feel about them guys right about now. But y'all come below. Y'all come below. Y'all know what they look like I did a full review on this shoe. Go back and check that out. Or you can just look at this video because I'm showing them right now. Here you talking about. This is a size women's nine. So it's a men's, uh, what, eight and a half or seven and a half? Women's nine, eight, seven, seven and a half men. That sound about right, y'all. It's a dope shoe. It should have been in full extended sizes, but unfortunately it's not especially with the um og color blocking that it got like the black tongue fire red color blocking when they do women's stuff they do always do something different and this shoe you got the uh lace lock holder that's got that kind of icy look to it every time they do women's shoes something is different whether it's some kind of satin lining on the inside or something or something that's a different color and they went with the like blue icy outsole on these instead of the um Instead of the one we've been getting lately. We've been getting that blue lately. Um, but they use that this time. Anyway, comment below and tell me what y'all think about the Air Jordan 5. Lucky green, guys. I, don't, I, don't, I still got to go to Snipes. But they ain't really got these in a lot of stores, bro. I love the pine green, though. I mean, the, the lucky green. Because it's almost, especially on the side panels, it's dark like the pine green. But when you go up to the top, it's a little bit lighter like that lucky green. I don't know. Anyway, come below and tell me what y'all think of these guys. I love the black accents. It's one of my favorite part of the black accents right there. I wish the netting was black too because you got the black up here on the eyelets. You got the black down here on the midsole. You got the black on the tongue. I wish I wish they went with an all black netting on the side all the way around. And then they should have did black right here too on these eyelets. In my opinion, that more black would have just made these shoes pop a little bit more and then drop them in men's sizes and they would have been a go. You can keep the black jump, man. You don't need no Nike, uh, but I just wish it would have had some more black accents to bring the shoe out a little bit more. Too much white is uh, distracting. He's talking about. Anyway, last time I'm going to ask y'all what y'all think about Air Jordan 5 Lucky Greens that dropped today. Let your boy know. Lock up all the Air Jordan nothings. Lock them all up for 2024. Especially these. Oh no, especially these. Just lock them up, bro. We don't need to see them no more, sir. Bro, I showed this Thriller shirt in one of my videos, one of my vlogs, and I done seen at least like two or three Instagram influencers rocking this shirt. It's hard, though. Um, I don't see any guys rocking it, though. It's cleansed. 
But they got these in every color, bro. Like every color of the, the crayon. He's talking about every color of the rainbow. They got the Vomeros. Here's the triple black Vomeros. I still ain't tried them yet. Everybody keep telling me how comfortable. But I don't have enough time in the mall today to try them because I still ain't find Harley Sue's because it's hard to find size three um, in all black sneakers. I'm going to have to look online or something, bro, because this over with in the mall. Oh, man. Back to the crib, man. So, um, short vlog action going on when the whole lot going on those green fives y'all comment below and tell me what y'all thought about that shoe but what i will say is i got some shoes for my daughter they did me wrong shawty they did me wrong first of all before we get into the reason that they did me wrong i did get these and they end up being on sale 130 dollars for this shoe and they came out to like where my receipt at i think they came out to like 91 dollars let's see here from Snipes. So, yeah, this shoe was $91. $40 off. $40 off for these right here. Then they just, my daughter needed all black shoes to wear to school. It got a hint of white stitching on it. That shoe, be, that, that school better not say nothing to me. Cause that school better not say nothing to me. Hardly go to this little uh, theme school and, um, I got these Air Max 97s. They was $130, but I ended up paying $91. Shot her feet getting big. She wear a three now. And this is her first pair of Air Max 97s. Black, like I said, it's supposed to wear all black shoes, but on the tongue, it got a little white with a little patent leather. And on the side, they got a little white swoosh. I seen kids at her school wearing shoes with like white or gray outsoles. So that little small little swoosh should not be a problem. They still look like fry cook shoes, like you cutting the lettuce at Wendy's, regardless of what, when they all black. I just wanted her to have a little drip because I think she got like some Reebok Classics and Black Air Force Ones and she got some Air Max 90s. And um, I just be wanting her to have a little drip when she going to school. Good thing about this shoe is you don't have to lace it. It got like these little laces in it. It's like, um, it's like elastic or not, what is it called? What is it? Is it elastic or bungee? What do you call it when? When you get that snapback action like that. I want to say elastic, but it, I think it's another name for it. Anyway, <laughs> it got that. So she, all you got to do is slide them on. And that's, I mean, she knows how to tie her shoes, ladies and gentlemen. My daughter is seven years old. She definitely knows how to tie her shoes. But when you're getting up early to go to school in the morning and you're running a little late, these would be perfect for her to just throw them on. Um, slide them on like some, like some slides. But let me, and I got all these too. So let me show you how they did my baby wrong. This shoe was... $100. And if, if, if it had everything that I needed it for it to have, it would probably cost more than $100. So that, in that aspect, I'm not mad. But let's do it. Let's just do a formal, um, like an unveiling. Air Jordan 4 Retro Preschool. I didn't know 3Y three, three was still considered preschool because my daughter's in the second grade, bro. And she wears a 3Y. I thought, that, I thought we was getting into the grade school right there. But I guess... I guess they still, her feet look big as hell to me. I don't know. Um, so, Jordan Box, Jordan 4's, Fisher Colorway is black, fire red, and cement gray. So, y'all probably know what they is already. Number one, the box. Couldn't give us the box that the men's pairs got. And I guess since this size is a preschool size, we weren't going to get that box. I, I haven't really been buying her a whole lot of Jordans just simply for the fact that her feet is growing so fast but she's supposed to be going to a sneaker ball at her school and I want to have some heat on feet so I got her these right here and the shoe is the shoe is pretty big that's why I don't understand y'all couldn't spring for the stuff that the men's pair had as you all know um, I think some of the women's but I know all the GS come with this uh, Jumpman sticker right here so there's that going on and Harley would probably definitely put that up on her bunk beds or something like that. They got some decent leather though. I will say that. Now, I, 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 I was finna just talk bad about the shoe all the way around and I'm finna talk bad about them. Oh, Cause they, 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 y'all, y'all ought to be ashamed Jordan Brand. You ought to be ashamed. There's a certain size you get to. You can actually, this shoe is big enough to put the stuff on it. So let's just show everything the shoe ain't got. Look at, the shoe is actually big enough to put some of this stuff on it. Look at this. Look like it come from Shoe Barn. Look like it come from in a hundred dollars. Boy, Jordan Four is out here looking like Air Jordan Nathaniels. Hey, you talking about? No air bubble whatsoever. No air bubble. Instead of the plastic um, uh, straps right here, 
you got this smooth, real smooth, cheap feeling leather right here. You feel me? The waffles is just this smooth, cheap feeling leather instead of actually like the little plastic waffles right here. Terrible, like I said, no air, no air bubble. Instead of the, the flight plat, uh, the flight Jumpman patch on the tongue, we have just the stitched red Jumpman, plain Jane. You can actually see the red from behind the tongue, like how they used to be back in the day. And on the back, no Nike Air, just simply Nike. Now I will, I will say, with that being said, I feel like they've been doing this like this for years, because. I remember my first pair of Jordans didn't have Nike Air on the back either. I think it was Jordan 6 White Infrareds. They only had Nike stitched on the back. No Nike Air. Um, so, that's not really new. But look how they even cut off. Look at this. Look how they cut off the, the side panel right here. This Don't this supposed to be bigger than this? Don't this supposed to go behind? Ain't no behind. You know why? Because the, sh the strap is stitched to the damn shoe. Bruh. Come on, Jordan Brand. Come on. Them details. This shoe is big enough. I be thinking the shoe real small, like toddler size and stuff like that. You can't add on the detail because the shoe is not big enough to actually put the details in the shoe. This shoe is big enough to put them details in it, man. Y'all cut my baby short. I see why that was $100. I see that was $100. <laughs> Sorry, Harley. But on feet, they, I mean, from, from a distance on feet, they still look like bread for us. But, man. These some Air Jordan Nathaniels, but these some Air Jordan nothings. No air bubble? At least give me the air bubble, Shouter. And I know I understand the shoe would probably cost more money if they had an air bubble in it. So I ain't tripping, but <sighs> oh, the bottom's right there, man. I don't know, man. Anyway, Air Jordan 4 reimagined breads for my baby. They really reimagined the whole cuz. I would have never imagined they would left out all them damn details. At least it got the Nike on the inside. But it still ain't got it. Well, I mean, I guess because it doesn't have the air bubble or the air unit in it, you can't put air. It's just Nike, but you can fold me. I, I still, even without air bubble, you can still put air on there. And I, you know, it's some, it's some, it's something air. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and see if she, and try these both of these shoes on for her. Um, she's really just out of wearing a 2.5 into a three, so these might be actually a little big. Um, but you know. I guess I guess I could the best thing I could say is at least it's not they don't cost as much as my shoes yet, which I know in the future they'll definitely cost probably close to how much my shoes cost. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. Oh, yeah, you saying and keep watching my video could dish what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the blessed, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With riches, kicks. I mean, my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl Hit Hobby Lobby Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi Then we gone Straight up to the moon on them